Hello, welcome to another video. Um, this is the first one uh, in my new house. Um, we moved in on the uh, 18th of November. So that's basically why there's been a delay in producing any content. Um, uh, it was a bit of a nightmare move, to be honest. We didn't get the case till four o'clock in the afternoon and it was uh, quite stressful. However, we are in and um, we're definitely getting sorted. Um, so this really is a bit of a um a bit of a catch up um me and alex have uh are in the process of sorting the um the basically we're having a, a garden room uh that's going to be a war games den um three meters by five meters so we'll have space for um a couple of paint stations a little studio area and we'll be able to have a permanent um well, at least a six by four up permanently table uh, for gaming on. So we'll be able to do plenty of um, after action reports, which has probably been one of the most popular uh, things that we've done on the channel. Um, so the lead time for that were, I spoke to the company this morning, um, I wanted about 10 weeks for them to deliver everything. We've got to get the base built, uh, but we'll be doing other stuff um, obviously in the, in the meantime, and we'll do a grand unveil and when that's, uh, when that's all sorted so the last thing we sort of did gaming wise was the um the battleground show at stockton which is uh run by uh pendragon uh that was on saturday the 26th of november um me and alex put uh a falcons game on surprisingly enough um but this time it was using uh the 10 millimeter collection um which allows you to fight sort of larger actions, company actions and things like that, right up to battalion, really. Um, we used uh, a, a World War II system called All Hell Let Loose, which is designed primarily for sort of 6 mil, and if you want to do 10 mil, you double the ranges. We did a little few adaptations um, to the rules system, um, but it went, um, it went okay. <clears throat> for those interested in this scale, you can use those rules. There's also... An adaptation of the fire and fury system they did a world war ii system i think it was called battleground world war ii's ringing a bell um and if you look online there's um a modern adaptation to cover the cold war and it actually has stats and quite a few scenarios um for the falklands so for british and argentine forces and the falklands uh and this is using a base of two men representing i think a section so that's the sort of level you're at and they would work um they would work well as well um so uh basically that's where we are um we've we did <laughs> we videoed a little bit at the show um uh so what we'll we'll we've got some photos. I'll put we'll put them on that are coming up next, and I'll do a little bit of a talk over over the video. Not a great deal happening in the video, but we'll talk over it. I'll describe the uh, the bits and bobs um, that we'll have out. As a matter of interest, there is quite a nice review of the show. Uh, Metro Attic Man Cave is ringing a bell. It's a sort of a friend of a friend who, a guy who goes around the shows, who does quite good, well, quite good, really good videos. Um, I'll put a link in the description of that so you can have a, you can have a gander at that. Um, so without further ado, we'll get, um, get the, the pics and the video up and you can have a look at what we did um, at, uh, at, at the Battleground show. Right, so here's just a general view of the table set up uh, before we uh, before we started. This is a view uh, looking sort of over the British position towards the uh, Argentine positions. Uh, there are obviously uh, platoons set out, uh, ready to go. So this is just a close up of some of the uh, Argentine figures and uh, and the terrain. This is a little bit close up of the uh, of the Argentinian command post. Yeah, we've got uh, a support element, three uh, British Jeep MG uh, sustained fire teams. And this again is the the British moving uh, moving forward uh, on the when the uh, when the attack started. 
Right, so as I mentioned earlier, this is just a short clip of the uh, the game in progress. Uh, it is actually happening. You can see a little bit of movement there. Um, it was basically, it's, it's like the other shows that we've done. Uh, we've had a load of good feedback um, from uh, visitors, and I don't think we've managed to, to finish a game yet because we'll end up uh, chatting to people and talking about the rules and the figures and the terrain and what have you, which is basically what the show is all about it's good to uh, engage with people and talk and uh you know that's to me that's what what show should be like really um so what you can basically see here uh the british are at the uh left hand side of the table um no that's wrong shut up so <laughs> the argentinians are at the left hand side of the table um this is alex moving the the british forward so he had a company um with some support elements in the argentine uh, the argentinians had a very weak company uh defending the hills area just in front of where the uh from the where the house is uh, and you can see him moving the uh moving the figures uh game went uh quite well um argentine morale a little bit brittle and after taking some casualties uh they eventually broke uh and the british uh the british obviously captured the position so uh like i've said before um any questions at all, uh, just give a shout up and we'll, uh, we'll do our best to answer them. Right, so there we are. That was the, uh, the update about uh, what's happening uh, at the house here and also the, um, uh, the battleground show. So uh, until we're sorted with the, um, with the garden room and we've got everything set up, um will be it'll be a similar vein to what we've been doing um we've been doing recently um as normal if you've got any questions or queries um just chuck them on the uh, video and i'll do my best to answer them um i've put as many links as i can think of uh in the description uh so uh i think i've covered them but if i haven't if there's a, something i forgot just shout up and then i'll uh we'll sort that out um, as normal, if you've enjoyed the video, um, give it a thumbs up and like it. If you're not already a subscriber, um, have a think about subscribing. You can do that from the main channel page or alternatively at the end of the video in the bottom right hand corner, you can click on the button, the Empress 28mm um, Modern British Infantryman. Okay, so uh, as I've said, that's where we are. Um, everything's uh going well been quite an expensive time uh, perfectly placed just before christmas so we've been buying dishwashers and washing machines and fridge freezers and all sorts so um it's uh it's it's just one of those things we weren't intending to move at the beginning of the year and then uh this chance came up and it was too good to miss so we're uh we're really pleased anyway that's it uh thanks very much for watching and um and we'll see you next time